Welcome guys to my board game room and mini arcade I guess you can call it because there's like a board game room over here and then also some arcade machines over here it's a little bit of a half in that corner is like arcade area and then half in this corner is what I would call the board game area over here so we're gonna call this the board game room all together so I'm gonna show you guys everything that we have going on in this room so let's go ahead and get into the video game in tech eating brekkie is the game in tech going for a brekkie is the game in tech game in tech is the game in tech game in tech so as soon as you come down here things already drastically start changing uh i used to have uh for those of you guys who watch on my other videos all the time i used to have a gigantic um marvel pachinko machine and I never really got used, especially because it was always in the way of the door opening. So I got rid of that. I actually still have that for sale. I'm trying to sell it on Facebook Marketplace locally and trying to get rid of that. And that's all gone. And the movie collectibles were there and right here. That's all gone. And now what we have going on here is the New Wave Toys section uh, that I really started getting into because I love arcade machines and stuff. And what I have going on right here that I think is really cool is that I can now have a dedicated area to show off these new wave toys. These things are fantastic. I've been doing a lot of reviews on them recently. And it gives me, uh, you know, a place to show off arcades that I know I'm never going to own, you know, in real life or anything. And I still have uh, like a replica of them, like the Atari Food Fight that you see here. We got that going on right there. Missile Command up there. And then we have uh, 1942 sitting down there. I love having these things on. Uh, you know, I got my little display going on right here. I got a little wallpaper going on in the background. The the backlight, I have a backlight sitting up there that kind of shines down sitting up there. If you guys can see it, it's shining down on the poster and it makes it look freaking awesome. Makes the, the um, neon matte here tile uh, show up and look really good. Added some little posters there or some, to match some things. We have some uh, cool figurines here from some of my stuff that revolve around the 80s. Uh, you know, Tron, Ghostbusters, obviously Ninja Turtles down there. Stranger Things is obviously based on the 80s, so I thought that fit well. And then Karate Kid chilling right there, right in the front. Obviously, this is an ever-expanding area. As a matter of fact, I have, you know, other things coming in in a couple days, but I don't want to wait to get this video out anymore. Down here, I'm going to be adding the big... I did end up getting the big uh, replica machine of the M90. So I'll be doing a video review on that next week and that will go down here. And this will obviously, I'm still missing two more of these UV pads to, to kind of decorate this out uh, because they're sold out right now. But essentially I'll have this obviously covered in the same thing on the second floor. And this will be where my other machines go when I keep getting more of them. I'll have this set up exactly the same. I don't want to change this. This will be kind of like where I showcase my two most newest ones. And then the other ones will kind of be down here, uh, you know, in a gigantic like little square area right here. So I think it came out really good. The only other thing I want to add, because they're sold out as well, is the guy who makes this. Also, they also, on New Wave Toys, have like a 4x6 version of different arcade posters that would fit perfectly right here on these sides. And they come, I want to put four of them, one here, one here, one here, one here. So then the UV light will bounce off of those even better. Or not even better, but just more. So I have some more UV uh, black light posters. And, uh, you know, that matches the arcade theme. But I love this poster, and I can't wait to get the smaller ones. But that's really the only thing that this area is missing. Um... That I didn't get a chance to do and then over here we got uh, just stuff that I'm adding from new wave toys that kind of match this area we got the insert coin blu-ray up there that they did we got the uh, little uh, power bank that they created we got the m90 mini sitting right here we got the arcade stick uh, for 1943 these two these three spots are empty because I actually have a couple of things coming in uh, that just didn't make it in time for this video like I got another I got the Street Fighter one that's gonna go down here uh, just a couple of other things that are going to be sitting there that are going to and then I have a few shelves down below that will kind of just sit there Until New Wave Toys comes out with some things that maybe just fit on those shelves But right now all the shelves up to that corner will be filled and it's gonna look great Having all the New Wave Toys collectibles and stuff like that sitting right here And then I did have to mention I have the arcade down there the book from New Wave Toys as well down there Which is really cool. So love how this area has turned out. It's like 95% complete just missing a couple of posters there uh, And then those three things that are coming in the mail uh, need a couple of posters when those come back in stock, the 4x6s, and then a couple more UV, um, you know, backlight mats there for the second shelf to get that done. 
Uh, coming around this corner, I do still have my Marvel machine right here, the limited edition one that's modded with a retro pie to be able to play all the Marvel and, and fighting games with the uh, Soundwall joysticks and buttons, which is fantastic. Love this limited edition. Uh, some mods there and stuff with adding some extra buttons, some nice cool uh, Marvel things that light up there on the wall, which I think look great, and so does, uh, you know, those signs and stuff. And that hasn't changed. It just moved there, and it looks fantastic. Uh, I moved the Star Wars machine over so then it has more room and not so claustrophobic to these people who are playing right here. And then, of course, I got my Star Wars machine right here in the corner. I've had this here in the corner for a while, just moved in a little bit more. Modded, of course, with a PC and everything to be able to play a bunch of flying games on there. And then right next to it, something that came in this year, is, of course, my Legends Pinball Machine. Something that I've wanted for a while to get into, the ecosystem, to get into their ecosystem. And uh, I got that this past year, so I added that right there play some pinball that's been fantastic to have now spinning over here a lot of you guys will have watched my video and know that this has changed drastically i used to have a movie room sign right here and you guys will see later on in the video where that movie room went to but this used to be a movie room believe it or not this is now a board game room as you guys are looking at here um and slash arcade in the corner here so i got like a arcade area in the corner right there where these are kind of living and then as soon as you cross this area that's why i have a board game drive sign so this is the board game area the game room boulevard is kind of in there with that sign and then this is the arcade sign that's kind of calling this arcade lane so there's some arcades over here which i think look great but this is the movie theater seats that i used to have i haven't gotten rid of it yet i think it fits pretty well here for now it might not stay here forever but it's here right now with the arcade one of infinity game table so people can kind of just sit there relax talk to each other and play some infinity game table stuff right there and then we got the uh you know pinball sign to kind of match that pinball machine right there uh i use this for a variety of things right now i've been using it for my videos because i do some of my unboxings here now because it's perfectly set up like you can see right now it's this 2023 game room tour so <laughs> that's what we're doing right now uh we got the uh, ddr like little poster i didn't know what to put there so i put a ddr thing because this is where my mats are when i want to whip out ddr obviously i just take it out of that corner so that's where the ddr sign is there this game of thrones is part of my wall when i had the movie room theater sitting in here I don't exactly think it matches this room anymore, of course, because, you know, it's, it's Game of Thrones. It's got nothing to do with arcades or a board game room. So maybe something that disappears eventually, but I just like the way it's set up, and I think I left it there for now because I don't really have another good place for it. So you guys will see what the move room looks like after this. But, um, yeah, this is fantastic. I have an, a dedicated board game room now. We got some comics here on the side, and then we got the board game sign that I just had created uh the Oliveira board game room i love how this sign turned out the same guys who made the movie room sign made me this one fantastic and then i got this custom made on etsy as well this is freaking awesome they take your favorite games from board games and then kind of do things there like you know we connect cities and complete tickets you guys should know what that's from uh you know everything pertains to something uh things can get dicey obviously relating to dice games obviously our colony works together placing workers and decks you know all these cool things let me know if you guys can, without looking it up, guess all eight of the different games that are sitting on here. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, eight of them. Let me know if you can guess all the board games that these things are referring to that I really like in my collection. So I love this. I love what it says, and I love how it kind of goes right underneath that board game sign. Then again, like I said, we have the comics here with the Hulk sitting up there. And he's kind of sitting there with the comics and stuff, which is really cool. And then this is the gigantic board game. Uh, room I think it turned out fantastic I was really nervous when I was putting this together because I didn't think the table was gonna fit with two shelves next to it it is a little bit tighter than you would probably want to but I can easily you know open this chair and kind of sit there and not have a problem uh, the obviously people who might be slightly bigger and stuff like that obviously have the opposite ends right here that they can sit at so it's not perfect but I say it's pretty good and um, you know, like I said, you could fit well on either side. It's just that, you know, sometimes if you're sitting on that corner, you may have to tell one of the other two people to get up so you can get around them. But once you're in there, you're really comfortable, and, and everyone who I had tested didn't have an issue with it. Because my only other option is to just only have shelves on one side and then lose all the storage on both sides. And then I obviously wanted it to be kind of a board game room, and you get that feeling by having shelves on both sides. So I think this works really well. I can't wait to have my first board game night here. I've only had a few people test it out. We played a couple things on here. But as far as a true board game night that I usually have, I haven't had one yet, but it's definitely coming now soon, and I'm excited about it here. Uh, this is obviously the little area that I have here. I got some posters, Board Game Geek. We got a bunch of my board games here. I'm not going to go through every shelf here, of course. We'll be here forever. 
but we got like Catan there, the 3D version, and then just a couple of random knickknacks there to kind of show off there. And then what I do is I have a lot of board games like behind these, but I show off my favorite ones that I like currently, uh, and I kind of have those on the front, and then the other ones are kind of slid in behind it, so you'll see a lot of board games that I really like kind of front, face, and center, and then there's a bunch of board games obviously behind each one. Same thing with the ones back here, as you guys are looking at. Uh, we got some board games down there. Uh, this is where all my stuff goes. I have a switch there, my Sonos and stuff that goes outside, and my switch kind of lands. Everything Ethernet related in the house kind of lands right here in this little cubicle because that's where they used to go before uh, when the movie room was here. So I tied it up as much as I could and, and kind of set that right there. Uh, got some board game, uh, got some candy over here. Since you guys remember, I used to have a candy station that used to be in the board game corner right there. That did get sold off because obviously I have no room to put that here anymore to have a candy station anymore. So what I did instead is I got this little cart and then obviously when we're playing board games and stuff is usually when people want to have candy and stuff. So I kind of just have that sitting right here ready with some of my favorite candy and some things that a lot of people like. Uh, you know, kind of sitting here. Obviously, I have to get more candy. It's not completely full, but it's just kind of to show off what my idea was. Little cart there, just for some candy and stuff. Uh, we got uh, board game stuff right here related. We got a little sign. This is a really cool sign that I got from Etsy as well. Board Games Hero Challenge, where you do all these challenges for board games. Like, read a book about board games, play one game for four hours straight, and then you kind of cross them off. And then you get, like, points over here to try and build your stamina, your exploration and stuff. It's really cool. Uh, you know, to complete these challenges when you're playing board games. And then right here in the middle, I just got some knickknacks. These are my two favorite games currently. Dead of Winter has been my favorite game for a while. Love that game. And then Feed the Kraken is just another one of my favorite games right now. Drop Mix to show off there. I love Drop Mix even though it's not really supported anymore, but it does still work. Then we have this Fuzzy Football here, which I think is really cool. Combines uh, football with a board game and stuff. Really, really fun. And then another one right here, Dags. And then this other one that I have right here. Uh, really really well organized and then we got some snacks over here that I usually always had so a couple more snacks This is my 90s corner since I'm a huge 90s fan We got a 90s fridge all decorated out from the 90s with some 90s snacks in there like ices and stuff like that And lunchables and Capri Sun all that kind of stuff sitting in that little mini fridge that we have going on And there's just 90s snacks like Dunkaroos and Fun Dip Slim Jims Rice Krispies You know all, all these kind of things. It's not completely full again because I just got this set up but you got the idea of what I was going for there. And then that's why it says Saved by the Snacks. 90s themed right there. Uh, a lot of cool stuff there. So, And then this is my uh, last game board. You guys know I do a lot of videos on that. I have that set up here at the table here. So we got the Infinity Game Table over there. And then the last game board sitting over here, which is really cool. And that's kind of it for this room over here. I think this room has improved a lot. There's so much more space here when you come through. You know, you actually have room to play these pinball machines and the Star Wars machine and the Marvel machine in the other corner. That's more of a showpiece than it is to play, but at least the door can actually fully open now. It's not like blocked off when we go into the arcade room. It's, that's just the noise of it hitting the floor, but it fully opens now, which is great. Unlike before, where it was hard to get in there, and this just came out really well. I love the board game area because I love board games and being able to have dedicated space for the infinity game table the last game board and just all my board games surrounding me it's really really fun uh, i almost forgot about this area over here but i have a couple of knickknacks here uh some other games some board game books and then this is a game i actually made myself uh it's a board game that kind of takes the mario party feel uh where you're playing mario party on a board game but all the mini games are essentially board games where i take some of the board games that i own and make them into mini games and stuff like that and play like a mario party type mashup game kind of use that when i have like four to eight people over so we can play a bunch of board games in one night maybe as opposed to playing one or two board games a night we play that it's a pretty long game it takes about four hours but you get to play a variety of different board games in my collection so a lot of people seem to like that when uh, i showed my friends uh that then we got a sign over here no not like monopoly a nice little uh picture there love this sign over here will wheaton up there posing up there we got this stuff board gamers say which is pretty hilarious you guys can read some of those and then I have too many board games that no one ever sitting right there. And then top 100 board games, uh, you scratch them off as you get them. I haven't started scratching them off yet because I do own some. But those are the top 100 board games based on 2022 on Board Game Geek that you can kind of cross off, which is really cool. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of the board game room here and all the changes. I can't believe this used to be a movie room. I can't believe I used to sit on this couch all the way up here and watch my projector and now i look at it and i'm like damn this is now a board game room what a gigantic change a lot of work went into this to move things around but a lot of good stuff and i can't wait to have board game nights in here i feel like this is a great use of this space 
and it's going to work out really well, and I can't wait for people to come over and check it out. So, guys, if you guys have any questions about anything you guys have seen, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.